Voyager 1 is more than 15 billion miles away, farther from Earth than any object in human history. Yet today, we can still communicate with it. But how is that possible? Introduction to Voyager 1 Launched in 1977 with a mission to explore the outer planets. After historic flybys of Jupiter and Saturn, it continued outward, eventually becoming the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space. Despite its age and distance, Voyager 1 is still sending data back to Earth, raising a remarkable question. How does a spacecraft this old, this far away, continue to maintain contact? The Distance Challenge Voyager 1 is now so distant that a single radio signal takes over 22 hours to reach Earth. By the time its signal arrives, it is extraordinarily faint, millions of times weaker than the noise around it. Yet, through advanced engineering and precise tracking systems, we're still able to detect and interpret its transmissions. The communication system. Voyager communicates using a 12-foot high-gain antenna and a transmitter producing only 22 watts of power. That is roughly the power consumption of a small household bulb. Even at mission launch, this was not cutting-edge technology. However, its design is optimized for long-distance communication, allowing it to send data in an extremely narrow and focused radio beam. The Deep Space Network On Earth, communication is maintained through NASA's Deep Space Network, or DSN. This global system consists of three facilities in California, in the United States, Madrid in Spain, and Canberra in Australia, each equipped with radio antennas more than 200 feet across. These massive dishes are designed to detect even the weakest signals. As Earth rotates, at least one DSN facility always has Voyager in view, allowing for nearly continuous communication, powering the mission. Voyager cannot rely on solar energy. At its distance, sunlight is too weak to be useful. Instead, the spacecraft is powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. Although these generators produce less power each year, they have kept the spacecraft operational for nearly five decades. Technical challenges. Continued communication is not without complications. As power decreases, NASA must carefully shut down non-essential systems to preserve critical instruments. Additionally, both Voyager spacecraft have experienced software and alignment issues in recent years, requiring creative solutions to restore communication. Despite these challenges, mission engineers have managed to keep the spacecraft functional, even updating its systems from billions of miles away. What the future holds? Voyager. One's power supply will eventually become too weak to support communication. Most estimates suggest contact will be lost sometime in the mid-2030s. After that, the spacecraft will continue traveling through interstellar space silently, carrying the golden record as a message from Earth to any civilization that may one day encounter it. Voyager, one represents one of humanity's greatest engineering achievements. Despite its age and distance, it remains a functioning explorer beyond our solar system. If you'd like to see more in-depth explanations about space, make sure to subscribe and follow the channel.